Hello viewers, it's nice to be to come your way again. I'm reflecting from the Hope on Heaven Daily Devotional Guide written by Pastor E. A. Adeboye, um, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. And my name is Edith George from Bethel's Court in Bexley Heath, Kent, United Kingdom. Uh, today the topic before us is persistence brings the answer. Persistence brings the answer. A Bible passage is Luke chapter 18, verses 1 to 8. Then he spoke a parable to them that men always ought to pray and not lose heart, saying, There was in a certain city a judge who did not fear God nor regard man. Now there was a widow in that city, and she came to him, saying, Get justice for me, for my adversary. And he will not for a while. But afterwards, he said within himself, Though I do not fear God nor regard man, yet because this widow troubles me, I will avenge her, lest by her continual coming she weary me. Then the Lord said, Hear what the unjust judge said, And shall God not avenge his own elect, who cry out day and night to him, though he bears long with them, I tell you that he will avenge them speedily. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man comes, will he really find faith on the earth? A memory verse, Matthew chapter 7, verse 9. Or what man is there among you, who if his son ask for bread, will give him a stone? Persistence is the quality of remaining resolute to your goals while you are in the process of trying to actualize them. It is the quality that prevents you giving up when obstacles get in the way of your progress. Being persistent means being flexible, committed to finding the solutions to problems that would otherwise stop you from reaching your desired goal. To be persistent means you must be motivated. You must have the force which drives you to take action. The force and the actions are inseparable because motivation does not exist without there being an action. Otherwise, all you are left with is no change and no progress. There must also be commitment. And to be truly committed means giving your heart and your soul to completing the objective and really caring about the outcome. It means having the resolve and will to create the outcome you desire, regardless of the amount of energy it will require to achieve it. Persistence also requires determination. This is the quality of resoluteness to achieving your set out goals. To be determined means that you have decided to achieve your aim and you will not waver, you will not give up until you have achieved that thing which you set out to achieve. Lastly, to be, to be motivated means that you have to be disciplined. Discipline is the quality of self-mastery that allows you to make progress on your goal. When you are tempted to a behavior that is a, a movement away from reaching your goal, something different, something that can distract you from achieving your goal, it is discipline that allows you to forsake short-term pleasures or gains in favor of your long-term objectives. If you are not disciplined, Anything can come your way and take you off track. Many people have given up when their breakthrough is just around the corner. You must be persistent in prayer. You must be persistent in your efforts. And you must be persistent in your attitude. If you want to achieve that which you set out to achieve, if you want to achieve your set out goals and objectives, you must have these qualities. And I pray with you today that even as you make up your mind that you will achieve that which you are set out to achieve, even this year, that the Lord will support you. He will encourage you. He will help you in the name of Jesus. Why don't you say this prayer with me? Say, Father, help me not to give up before my day of visitation. And may the Lord visit you, my viewers, till I come your way again. Remain steadfast. Remain resolute. And don't give up on that you go in Jesus' name. God bless you.